On the banks of the Detroit River stands the Canadian city of Windsor. A stone's throw from Detroit in the United States, Windsor is the southernmost city in Canada, and like Detroit, the City of Roses has close links to the automobile industry. Transworld Sport headed here recently to find out more about the Windsor Lancers women's college basketball team, who are the reigning national champions. The Lancers are coached by Chantal Vallée. It used to be the most prosperous city in Canada in the 90s. In the, the year 2000s, it became the highest unemployment rate. People would move out. There was foreclosure signs everywhere. And here we were the worst team in, in, in the country. And I told my players, if we can work hard enough and show Windsor that we can move from last to first. Maybe we can inspire the city to believe that they also can go back to be on the top of, of, of the, the cities in Canada, that they also can come back and be prosperous, that we can send them hope. Coach Vallée took charge of the Windsor Lancers in 2005, and in that time, the 30-year-old has succeeded in engineering a dramatic transformation in the team's fortunes. The Lancers are now unrecognizable from the team Valet inherited. The team was not particularly good. We, um, Windsor had only won four games in the past two seasons uh, prior to me. And as a history of the program, it had never had more than four winning seasons. There was a lot of things that had to be changed, and, and it was very difficult, I think, on, on myself and on them as well, changing the culture of a team that was not winning. Uh, was, was one of the greatest challenges I've ever, ever had to face. When we met up with the Lancers, they were preparing for the end of season playoffs and were confident of winning the national title for a third year in a row. With Coach Valet at the helm, the Lancers have developed an attacking style of play. So much so that they have been able to attract the best players in Canada and even some overseas talent. Jessica Clemenson hails from France and is the captain of the team. It's clear that Coach Valet has had a major impact on this team. She was the main reason why I came here. She was just so passionate about the program and she has a real vision. So I thought it was too good an opportunity to turn down. Plus the fact that she speaks French helped me a lot at the beginning. The Lancers won their first national championship in 2011 in what was the program's 50th anniversary year. Playing in front of their home fans at the St. Denis Centre, they beat the Saskatchewan Huskies by 63 points to 49. Star forward Clemenson led the scoring with 18 points. I think winning is a mindset, it's a, it's a state of mind, and we had made a decision that we were winning this championship. It was absolutely a fantastic experience. We're home, uh, we packed St. Denis Centre. Uh, there was, um, you know, over 3,000 fans in our school, which is very rare. We had to open up the stands and we returned many uh, hundreds of fans away. Um, there was over 104,000 viewers that watched it on uh, national TV. Again, for Canadian women's basketball uh, sport, it's quite exceptional. In that successful 2011 campaign, Maya Marie Langlois was named as the finals MVP. A native of Windsor, the 21-year-old point guard knew just how much that national title meant to the fans of her hometown. Basketball's not really big in Canada, but if you're in that gym, you would think basketball was the only thing going on at that moment of time. I mean, I think the entire Windsor community was there, and you know, you can definitely hear them. And it was just, um, honestly, it was honest, the best, the best moment of my life. In 2012, the Lancers captured their second straight championship with a 69-53 triumph over the UBC Thunderbirds. Coach Valet had by this stage created the most dominant team in the land, and her players are quick to pay tribute to her holistic approach to coaching. She really stretches people outside their comfort zone to make them grow as a person. I mean, within the five years, I'm sure I have become more mature um, by her coaching me and, you know, understanding what leadership is. Alan Wilderman is President and Vice-Chancellor of the University of Windsor. He's immensely proud not only of the success that the team has experienced, but also of the work that the Lancers do within the local community. 
women's basketball players are role models in our city. And there are many young women, young girls who are playing basketball in our city who love to come out and watch them play. And I'm very proud of what they do. Our players, they get into the community. They have workshops for, for high school students to give younger people a chance to be with them and to get a sense of what it's like to, to do your best. That's a tremendous service as a role model right across our city for young people. On our visit to Windsor, we were with the Lancers as they left their city to fly to Regina, Saskatchewan to take part in this year's Final Eight Championship. They took with them the Bronze Baby National Championship trophy, but were supremely confident that it would be returning home with them. Caitlin Longmuir is in her rookie year with the team. I think it'd be huge to do a three-peat and, um, you know, just to represent the city in such a good way. They've already done it very well the past two years and they've been very successful. So to do it again and be part of the team, that would be very exciting. And the three-peat is exactly what the team did. They dominated the championships for the third year in a row. In the final, they beat the Regina Cougars 66 to 57. On their return home, the Lancers were given a civic reception by the city's proud mayor, Eddie Francis. Chantelle doesn't need the key to the city. I'm just hoping that she doesn't run for mayor. Uh, she, uh, everybody knows her in this community. Everybody really appreciates and respects her. And I don't think a key to the city begins to do justice in terms of what she's been able to accomplish. I would like to be remembered for the transformation that we have brought to our university and to our city. To me, uh, that'd be amazing that uh, in such a difficult time, we could be remembered as a team that came in and gave hope. And with Chantal Vallée in charge, the young women of Windsor look set to rule the Canadian basketball scene for many more years to come.